talking hitting basics here. And first thing we want to cover is a proper stance, which we want to make very clear is simply an example and do not feel like every hitter should have the exact same stance. We feel that a unique stance gives the hitter confidence and can intimidate the pitcher. However, regardless of what the hitter does pre-pitch, it's important that all hitters get to the proper mechanics shown later in this video. A few key items we want to point out on the hitter pictured here is feet, knees are athletic, hands are high, and two eyes on the pitcher. Three important keys of a hitter's swing are number one, to get a proper load for the transfer of energy from the body to the bat and ultimately to the baseball. Number two, counter rotation to create power. Number three, keeping hands inside the baseball to create quick hands in a short swing. First drill we like to do with our hitters is the step back drill. Like every good swing, you have to load first. This is key to the transfer of energy from your body to the bat. To execute the drill, we have our hitters put our feet together up by the ball and tee, and they take a very calm step back, not a hop back, but a step back, load, get all that weight on that right foot, and powerful swing. Next, we like to do this drill. Some call it the walkthrough drill, some call it the happy Gilmore drill. Why we do this is to build muscle memory behind the player's most natural swing. So no coaching here. The only thing we tell the hitter to do is take a few steps back and go up and hit the ball as hard as possible. This does a lot of great things, but most importantly, as you can see here, it creates a lot of counter rotation. And we know, and well talked about in the baseball world, is shoulder hip separation creates a lot of power. And this drill does exactly that. Next drill is called the fence drill. The goal here is to keep hands inside the baseball. That's important because it shortens the swing and helps with facing high velocity pitchers and it puts more barrels on the ball. How we coach this drill is have the player stand a bat's width apart away from a net, preferably not a hard wall for player safety. Once they get a bat's width away, they want to get in their normal stance and do normal swings without making contact with the fence or net. Next, we will cover a drill that requires a partner. But before we show this drill, we want to talk about one last key of hitting. It is very important to coach our hitters to hit it where it's pitched. What I mean by that is for inside pitches or outside pitches, they should be hit slightly different. As inside pitches, we must pull the ball and outside pitches, we must push the ball. Why that's important is the only way to put a barrel on the ball for an inside pitch is if we hit it earlier and pull the ball. And same thing goes for outside pitches. The only way to put barrel on the ball is to wait just a little longer and push the ball to the opposite field. We should be working gap to gap. For righties, we need to pull the ball to left center gap. For lefties, we pull the ball to right center gap. For righties, we push the ball to right center gap. And for lefties, we push the ball to left center gap. And on this drill, we're working on hitting the ball where it's pitched. Inside pitch, slightly out front. Outside pitch, slightly back. All right, this drill is called the inside-outside take drill. We line up two tees, one outside pitch, one inside pitch. And what the hitter is going to do is hitter is going to load. And as they load, we're going to tell them inside, outside, or take. And they have to follow that command. Go ahead. Inside. Outside. Inside. Take. One last thing. It's important to remember that even the best hitters get out most of the time. And it's our job to remind the hitter that if they do get out, that's okay. And they should simply learn from that at bat and move on to their next at bat. 